The vote counting went way late into the night last night, but just within the past hour, uh, NBC News has declared Connor Lamb, the Democrat, the apparent winner in Pennsylvania's 18th congressional district. This is uh, the vote count as of 519 a.m. And take a look at these numbers. So very close between Connor Lamb, the Democrat, and Rick Saccone, the Republican. 113,720 votes for Lamb, 113,079 votes for Saccone. That is a 50-50 split, but NBC News is saying that Lamb is the apparent winner, and that's because the only outstanding votes are the approximately 200 absentee votes in Greene County, and provisional ballots in that district will count within the, the next seven days or so. And even with those added to the count, it doesn't appear that Saccone can catch up here. It's possible there may be a recount in this in this uh, district. So this battle might not be over. But for now, Democrats are calling Connor Lamb congressman-elect in that district. What does all this mean? Well, President Trump campaigned twice uh, in that district for Saccone. Uh, it's a district that the president won by nearly 20 points back in 2016. And so it's being watched as a bellwether for just how Republicans might do in 2018 in the midterm elections. And what happens in these cases, guys, when you have these special elections in the off months, the, the side that wins always says it's a bellwether, and that indicates that we're going to trounce the other side in, in November. The side that loses blames the individual candidate and says, you know, this guy was just not a good guy. This doesn't tell you anything because of the individual characteristics of this district, and we can't learn any lessons from this going into November. I think there's going to be a lot of hand-wringing, though, if this result stands among Republicans. Republicans going into the fall. They're very concerned about keeping the House of Representatives. So that's the political news overnight. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.